Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the crew 2 and it is Elite Bundle number 11 and today we're gonna buy a brand new hypercar from Elite Bundle. This is it, Elite Bundle number 11. First up we got a uh, Nissan GTR Nismo, finally we got a, uh, uh, the recent Nismo um, and then the second one we got the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 plus, that's the car but we're gonna take it and customize it and lastly the Celine S7. Shame it was the street race, but hey, it's so good. And we're just gonna head to the uh, hypercar. Ah, uh, yeah, that thing. So we're just gonna buy it separately. Uh, I don't want to buy in the Elite bundle. Uh, where's the Bugatti? I think the Bugatti is way to the right. There we go, that's a Bugatti. The Chiron Super Sport. And how many Bugattis that we got? I think we got a uh, the normal Chiron. We got ourselves a uh, carbon carbon edition Chiron. I think it was the uh, icon icon points. And we got the uh, interception unit Chiron, the same more pass one. The best more pass, I would say. The best uh interception cars in the hypercar class. And then we got this, the fort of the uh, Chiron. And it's it is different than the than the other series. Of course, it's very different than the uh, Chiron uh, carbon edition like we just driving before. Because this was a long tail Bugatti. And you can see the exhaust is like an, a, a modern exhaust, like a uh, two stack exhaust. And you can probably find this uh, type of exhaust in the uh, Bugatti Cento DHT. So yeah, this type of exhaust was exist before the uh, the Chiron. And it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty aggressive, I would say I'm gonna say a carbon carbon fiber. This is the this is real car. Then the uh, the Chiron uh, carbon edition. The wheels, I'm okay with the wheels. Just I don't know. I'm okay with the wheels, anyways. Uh, it has a, a wing flap, of course. So we're just gonna buy it, and it costs two millions four hundred. Oh, we can actually change the color. Oh, so the accent. I thought it was gonna be just like a sticker, but no, you can actually change the uh, <laughs> the accent of it, and we can make it gold. But no, I'm keeping with the uh, good old orange because the wheels is orange. Okay. Oh, we got a tap version of wheels. We got a full black. Um, I, I, I'm gonna I'm keep with the uh, with this one. So we actually have to buy the bundle. Okay, click on it and done. Bundle purchased. <laughs> All right, come on, give me my Bugatti. Give me my Bugatti. Come on, where is it? There you go. I own the Bugatti and I don't need to test drive it. Just straight away drive it. Oh, look at it, man! I love the long tail car. I mean, last time we got a long tail car was the. Uh, uh, I think it was the uh, the uh, old German boy. I'm talking to the Strassen version. I think that's the, uh, the last time where we got the uh, long tail cars, and now we got a modern long tail cars. Ho oh, ho! You know what? The long tail cars reminds me of the uh, the McLaren F1 long tail, and also the uh, Coda Luna, which is the uh, the newest Pagani uh, Pagani Quattro, I would say, yeah. And it looks and the Coda Luna obviously looks like kind of a. a uh, Kind of classic hypercars. I don't know. It is. It is gonna be a meta hypercar. And of course, I didn't expect anything about the uh, livery customization because you know this car is covered with a carbon fiber, just like the uh, the the Lavo Tunoa. Okay, I didn't expect anything about the uh, livery customization. All right, the customization. Like I said, no livery customization, like I expected. Okay. So I'm gonna change into something uh, a bit of a uh, orange. How about the uh, chrome orange? Uh, I kind of cool, but it it doesn't match the wheels. You know, so we're just gonna keep the uh, original orange. We can do a vanity, which that's a good thing. Can we do like kind of crazy vanity? No, we don't. Okay, straight away to the visual part. The moment of truth. We did. We have a customization. Thank God. Thank you. Good. There you go. Oh. So, yeah, we can make it all painted. Okay, we can remove all the carbon fiber. That's a good thing to me. 
we can straight up cover with the carbon fiber okay and we got some uh i think they put some kind of an extra on the uh, i don't know some kind of lip on the uh, hood uh okay i think all of them is like kind of carbon painted so we're just gonna go for the uh, port option it costs 48 bucks not surprised if you're gonna customize the uh <laughs> if we're gonna customize a hypercar so yeah Okay, so oh, I realized the the Bugatti logo it's actually black. Okay, do you know what? We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it painted. Come on, we got an eighteen. Oh, hello. Of course, I'm gonna put this one. And also, we got some all painted splitter. By the way, it has a top option. Okay, we got a uh, some sort of a kind of uh, customized splitter with some an orange lip. That's a good thing to me. Okay. Okay, paint it. I think it was actually crazy. Okay, I'm gonna. There you go. The number 16. Cost 24. Front fender got four option. I thought it's gonna be a white body. Wait. <laughs> okay, they actually having a painted front fender. They actually painted all the body. Okay, that's a good thing. We can actually make some kind of. I don't know. Uh, a paint, uh, a full painted of Chiron 300 plus. Of course, we got a white body, and the white body is a bit weird. I'd say. Uh, do I want to put a white body? I think I think I'm gonna put a white. Why the hell not? Uh, no, I think I'm gonna go for the uh, an orange or blue. Do I want to go with the blue? Side mirrors. Uh, uh the last one okay side skirt i think it's gonna be yep some kind of crazy side skirt and no i don't want to go for the opposite one weird okay rear fenders of course you're gonna paint it yes they are gonna they're gonna paint it um white body somehow the white body doesn't looks crazy as the front so it's kind of fit Yep, it's kind of fit to the front, but I don't know. It just looks like a different white body, so you know, I don't care. Rare wing, here we go. Of course, we're gonna paint that one all carbon fiber. Oh, fuck. Um, I know it's not an active wing. No, it's clearly it's not an active wing. But I put it anyway. <laughs> okay, 12 option. Okay. Oh. What's that? What's the red thing? I don't know what it is. Okay. Um. Um. Okay, they put some kind of uh, an orange accent on it. No, that's horrible. But I don't know why it looks horrible. But it does kind of fit it to the... Uh, to the uh, color of it, I mean the the stripes on it. I guess looks kind of fit to the uh, color. Hold up, are oh, they actually having an extra an extra nitros on it? Yep. I don't know the main difference, so let's just. Oh, the engine, the engine cover. It's okay. I real, I just realized that one. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. So, uh, the bumper. Uh, number nine. Okay, uh, oh, it didn't have to like an in interior customization, okay. Uh, Tires, I think I'm gonna go with the uh hold up. <laughs> it's a bit funny if we put this one. A Mexican Bugatti, you gotta be kidding me. Um there we go. Red Storm X tires. Nope, nope. Honor glows. Somehow it suited very well with the Dominion Honor Glow. 
but it just doesn't make any sense, you know. Like Chris Forsberg always in a Nissan, and somehow he changed into Bugatti. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh, we can go with this one. No. Um. No. Window ten. No. No. Okay. I think just the. <laughs> Just the attire, just the attire, and that's it. I'm not surprised if they put another Bugatti, and also I'm not surprised if they're gonna put another Connie Sack. Uh, you know, that the only only manufacturer the they're gonna put. The okay. driver. The driver it's the car. And I think I'm gonna surprise if they if they put the uh, efficient Grand Turismo Bugatti. That's it. That's what I expect. That's what unexpected because you know. Vision Grand Tourism was just like kinda behind you the rest of the way. Vision Grand Tourism was kinda uh type of car that was gonna available on the one game, which is Grand Tourism itself. So yeah, I don't know that they're gonna make it to have like an Vision Grand Tourism license. That's because it. if they if they're gonna put got. another Bugatti, I'm not surprised. If they're gonna put another Connie sack, not surprised. I think we're gonna surprise if they're gonna put another Nissan, but with some kind of custom agent. The hypercar Nissan, I don't know which kind. Of, which Nissan are like are supposed to be in the hypercar class? I mean, we, we already got the uh, GT1, and it's quite disappointing because literally you cannot do anything. Well, obviously you can do anything, like put the uh, an honor glow and also the horn. So I don't know uh, what happened next. If they're gonna put another Bugatti, if they're gonna put a uh, Bugatti Polite. Or maybe they're gonna put a Konisek Yesco Absolute, or maybe a touring car Bugatti. We never seen, we never seen. I mean, we already got the uh, Sport Race Bugatti, so oh, we already got the uh, Sport Race Bugatti. So I don't know what happened next. The last time that I drive it, driven Bugatti, it was a long time ago, and I think the last Bugatti I driven it was the uh, the interception unit, the best looking Chiron I've ever seen. With the uh, slick looking white body. And yep. Okay, come on, come on. So, anyways, I think that's it for today. If you like what you saw, please smash like and. Yeah, don't forget to uh, smash the subscribe. <laughs> I forgot to say that. And yeah, there you go. See you in the next video. Goodbye.